is a total body workout. Our timing is 15 seconds of rest with 45 seconds of work. So make sure you're taking that full rest to really kind of stop and relax for a second. You will need a small thing of dumbbells and when you're ready at the bell, let's go to work. Leave them on the side. First is body weight. We are doing a movement called a one, two, three. Okay, one, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three. Nice, once you get that momentum, once you get that movement down, add a little bit more speed. Get a little lower, stick your bum back a little more. Nice, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. <laughs> nice. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three. It's just a fun movement. This is really great for agility work, okay? So if you are in sports, this is a good one to try. Last one. Nice. 15 seconds of rest. So shake it out. Really, really use that rest, okay? So next one we're doing, it's called elevator squats, but we're adding a jump squat, okay? So we're gonna go down, halfway up, down, take off. So down, halfway up, down and up. You always have the option to just stick to the elevator squat itself. Down halfway, down and up. Gaze stays in a way that your whole back is in a nice straight line. Okay, down halfway, down and up. The weight is gonna be in your heels and bum comes back and down. Nice. Halfway, down and up. Halfway, down and up. Almost like you're prepping to lunge off. Nice. Halfway, down and up. And one. Very nice. Coming down to the floor. We're gonna be doing push-ups and then tapping our opposite knee. So you're gonna push up and alternate a knee tap. Or you can just stay in a push-up, okay? So let me show you another modification or another option. You're gonna push up on your knees and you can tap that knee, okay? So if you need to come down and you wanna still do the knee tap, do it. But if you need to come down to your knees, remember toes are on the floor, core is braced. Nice. Push up, knee tap. Push up, knee tap. Very nice. Couple more here. Or just stick to a normal push up. Three, two, and one. Very nice. Going into a bolt. We've done these a couple times. So we're gonna be on our hands and our toes. Knees float above the mat. We're gonna bring that leg through, okay? Here you go. Bring it through, bring it through. Nice. This is working these muscles right here. This is called the obliques, okay? That gives us that nice, cool V taper in our abs that we love. Just looks real great. <laughs> bring that leg through. Very nice. Still breathing. About five more seconds here. Keep those abs tight. Nice. Same time. Nice. We're going into a kneeling squat press. Okay, so a kneeling squat is just that. You stand in a kneeling position. Weight's gonna be in front of the body. We're gonna kneel down and come back up, okay? This. Oh yeah, and then you add a press, second motion. This. <laughs> my knee. <laughs> I'm gonna come up with my toes up just because my ankles are so creepy and they pop with every motion. Do you have that when you go up the stairs? It's like crack, crack, crack. <laughs> Very nice. So. The idea is, while Marissa's still going, this is kind of like 
a glute bridge, okay? Same motion coming down to the heels and rising up. So the work is all in the glutes, then we just add that press. Very nice, coming down. This is another combination move. It's a boat pose, just like this, but we're gonna take a dumbbell in one hand, okay? We're gonna have our feet up, we're gonna press up, okay? So this is challenging our balance. This is challenging our fast switch muscles again, as well as our core to keep us from rocking back and forth. It keeps us nice and still. Make sure you bring your chest up. And if you need to tap one foot down, or even just leaning back, if you wanted to keep both feet on the floor and just lean back, it's the same motion, okay? And it's still just as challenging. Good, right? That's good. I'm gonna go ahead and put my feet down. Use the other hand for balance. Now we're gonna do the other side. So really take a second, roll everything out. You have one really toasty arm right now. Feels super weird. Let's do the other one. Two toasty arms. And if I can give advice, pick one spot on the wall in front of you. Make sure it's something that doesn't move, but something that you can focus on and watch. And that will help you maintain that balance. Try not to watch the screen because we're moving on the screen, okay? So pick something that's directly in front of you on the wall that doesn't move. Very nice. More. Nice. Nice. Now we're going to do a V up. So you can have your hands behind you. You're going to have your hands in front of you. Okay. So you're just going to crunch those legs in and come down, down. Okay. Ready? Nice. Up and down. Up and down. You can always take the lower option of just one foot at a time. Just make sure you're bringing your shoulders and your knees up and back, together, and apart. Nice. Up and back. For more intensity, you can take your hands up on this side of your hips, less intensity, back behind you. Up and down, up and down, up and down. Three. Two and one. Very nice. Come on up. We're gonna do the whole thing over again. Dun 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 dun. One, two, threes. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Nice. Add the bell. So if you need to build up that momentum, grab those steps again. Two, three. One, two, three. Two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Nice. Get lower. Feet get quicker. More intention. More speed. Yeah. Maybe we like this because we both want to be cloggers. Do cloggers do this? Marissa was a clogger. I've always wanted to be a clogger. <laughs> Nice. Woo. This one right for you. Elevator jump squat. Nice. So shake everything out. If you feel tight in your hips from those boat poses, really take a second. Relax them. Down halfway. Down and up. Very nice. Lightning super light, or again, you can just do a normal squat, or you can do the elevator squat. But we only have this round left, so try at least adding that jump squat for a few. 10 seconds, 
seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Very nice. Down to the floor. Push ups with the knee tap. Nice. Catch your breath. We have about two seconds left here. We're gonna push up, knee tap. down to your knees with me if you need to. We have 10 seconds left. We can do a few more. Whew. Yowie. Nice. Going into that bolt. Really, really focus on these muscles right here. Keep everything super tight. Nice. And chest is going to stay lifted. Didn't make it back up. <laughs> okay, nice five seconds. Very nice. Here's that boat pose, pick a side. Ah. Kneeling squat, I lied. So you can grab your weight, tad that press. So down and up. Again, you saw that this is the same movement as that glute bridge. So if you're feeling in your knees, don't really like the way it feels, come back onto your back and just do a glute bridge. Okay, you will eliminate the press, but the glute work will be the same, which is just fine. Squeeze at the top, squeeze, two, and one. Now we're going into that boat pose. Big side. <laughs> as long as you don't do the same time, same side four times, you should be fine. <laughs> nice. If you need to again, keep both feet planted. Totally fine. And take that other arm out to the side. And find that spot one more time that doesn't move that you can focus on. <laughs> Popping joints. Very nice. One more side of these, then be ups. Nice. <laughs> Set it up. Come on back, hands up. Up and down. And these are fun because you're working like the entire body. And again, just challenging your balance by having that one moving muscle. <laughs> that was awesome. Was that sweat? <laughs> Woo. We have 10 seconds. Can we keep our feet over 10 seconds? 
Let's try it. You do it at home. Keep your feet up these last 10 seconds. Ah, the ups. Last one. Stretch everything out. Open up that stomach. Shake out the back. Very nice. If you need to, again, keep your feet down or you can alternate, bring one foot up and in. You can fully extend like Marissa. Nice, make sure you just have your chest lifted, core is tight so you can keep it out of those hips. Almost there, 15 seconds. At 10, we're gonna try at least two with both feet, right? Nice, here we go, both feet, both feet. Two, one-ish, two-ish, nice. We did it! Oh, he reached, I'm not moving. <laughs> Great job, everyone. Make sure you stretch out everything. Hydrate, hydrate, and hydrate. Now, see you next time.